In this video, we will see how to design a schema trigger circuit if VCC, upper threshold point, lower threshold point, gain of the transistor and collector current of an on transistor is given. Schema trigger circuit is also called as emitter coupled binary. The schema trigger circuit working will be almost similar to that of bistable multivibrator. Here, an input sinusoidal signal will be given and the output will be a square wave. The input sinusoidal signal, two points, upper threshold point and lower threshold point of an input sinusoidal signal will act as true two triggering signals for schema trigger circuit. So, schema trigger circuit will also have two stable states. One stable state conditioners first stable state we will assume q2 is on and q1 is off and second stable state q2 is off and q1 is on and depending upon the upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage it will change its stable state we here upper threshold voltage level will be greater than lower threshold point to have a schema trigger design like this, we have to assume the RC1 resistor is value is greater than RC resistor. RC2 resistor value. If RC1 resistor value is greater than RC2 resistor value, then the collector current, the current flowing through RC1 resistor will be less than the current flowing through RC2 resistor. This we have to consider to operate this circuit as schema trigger. And one more assumption here we have to consider is if the transistor is on, the current flowing through R2 resistor is assumed as I2 is approximately equal to on transistor emitter current by 10 then the circuit will operate as a schema trigger. Schema trigger is also called a sine to square wave converter. Till upper threshold point, the output voltage, that is the voltage taken from Q2 transistor will be equal to VCE sat plus IE2 into RE till upper threshold point Q2 transistor will be on. If Q2 transistor is on, the output voltage will be equal to VCE sat plus the voltage across RE resistor. And after upper threshold point, Q1 transistor will become on. When Q1 transistor will become on, the VC1 voltage is equal to VC sat plus the current flowing through RE resistor. This is coupled to the base of Q2 and Q2 transistor will come to off state. When Q2 transistor comes to off state, the output voltage will be approximately equal to VCC. And when the input sinusoidal signal reaches the lower threshold point, Q1 will become off. When Q1 transistor becomes off, the collector voltage will become approximately equal to VCC and this is coupled to the base of Q2. Then Q2 transistor will come to on state. When Q2 transistor becomes on, the output voltage will be again equal to VCE sat plus IE2 into RE. Here the upper threshold point of sinusoidal signal and lower threshold point of the sinusoidal signal will act as two triggering pulse to the schema trigger circuit. And by considering this, we will consider first stable state, Q2 is on, Q1 is off. When Q2 is on, Q1 is off, the current flowing through Q1 transistor is equal to 0. IC1 is equal to 0 ampere. And by having this value, we will able to find all the resistors value. And here, IC2 I collector current of on transistor is given. So IC2 is equal to IC of on. And 
the gain of the transistor is given. HFE is called as current gain of the transistor. If Q2 is on, the current gain of the transistor is given by output current divided by input current. So here HFE minimum is equal to IC2 by IB2. We know what is IC2 and we know what is HFE. Therefore, IB2 is equal to IC2 divided by HFE. HFE. HFE is the gain of the transistor. And here know what is VP2. And till the upper threshold point Q2 is on. Therefore, we assume that VB2 base of on transistor is equal to upper threshold point voltage. So if we know what is VB2, VB2 can also be written as VB2 is equal to I2 into R2. And for schematic trigger design, we know that I2 is approximately equal to IE2 divided by 10. And for an on transistor, IE2 is equal to IC2 plus IB2. Therefore, R2 is given by VB2 by I2. By this way, we will able to find the resist value R2. Then, if we consider the output loop of the on transistor, if we consider the output loop of the on transistor, VCC is equal to IC2 RC2 plus VCE sat the saturation voltage VCE sat plus IE2 into RE this is the output loop of the on transistor Q2 on and similarly VB2 can also be written as VBE sat plus IE2 into RE VB2 is equal to the upper threshold point if Q2 is on. Therefore, VB is sat plus IE2 into RE. In this equation, we know what is upper threshold point. VB is sat. If it is a silicon transistor, VB is sat is approximately equal to 0 0.7. IE2 is equal to IC2 plus IB2. Therefore, from this equation, we will find what is RE. RE can be found out from this equation. If we know the value of RE, then it can be substituted to equation number 1. If you substitute the value of RE, we will able from equation 1, we will able to find what is RC2. So, by considering one stable state Q2 on Q1 off, we will able we will be able to find the value of R2 resistor, RE resistor, and RC2 resistor. Here, if we consider the input loop of the on transistor, RC, the current flowing through RC1 and R1 is same. Since Q1 is off, the current flowing through Q1 transistor is equal to zero. Therefore. RC1 plus R1 is equal to VCC minus VB2 divided by IB2 plus I2. This is considered as equation number 2. Then if we consider the next table state. If we consider the next table state of schema trigger, Q1 is on, Q2 is off. If Q2 is off, the current flowing through Q2 transistor is equal to 0. That is, IB2 is equal to 0 ampere, 
IC2 is equal to 0 ampere and when Q1 is on the V input voltage is equal to the lower threshold point till V input voltage is equal to lower threshold point Q1 transistor will be on when it comes when the input voltage comes lower than lower threshold voltage Q1 transistor will enter into off so from this here when we consider the input loop V in is equal to VB sat plus IE1 into RE when Q1 is on the current flowing through RE resistor is given by IE1 therefore this is equal to lower threshold voltage from this we will able to find what is IE1 we for a silicon transistor if the transistor is on the VBE sat is approximately equal to 0 0.7 if we know IE1 IE1 is approximately equal to IC1 and if we consider the outer loop of this on transistor VCC is equal to the current flowing through RC1 is given by IC1 plus I1 into RC1 plus the current flowing through R1 and R2 R1 into I1 into R1 plus R2 this equation can be rewritten as IC1 into RC1 plus I1 RC1 plus I1 R1 plus I1 R2 this is again written as RC IC1 RC1 plus I1 into RC1 plus R1 plus I1 into R2 from equation 2 consider this as equation number 3 from equation 2 we know RC1 plus R1 substitute RC1 plus R1 in equation 3 from equation 3 we will able to find RC1 if we know what is RC1 we will be able to find what is R1 resistor by this way we will able to find all the resistors value in the schematic circuit thank you